Okay, uh, my topic is resonance and bridges, and I'm going to um, review some key terms, discuss causes and solutions of resonance, and end with some case studies. So many bridges have fallen down due to resonance, or to be more precise, mechanical resonance. And this is the susceptibility of a structure to respond at an increased amplitude when the frequency of its oscillations match the natural frequency. And structures like bridges can start to oscillate for many reasons, which um, I'll go on to in a moment. And bridges collapse not only as a result of mechanical resonance, but also aeroelastic flutter. And this is a process that occurs when complex varying oscillations are caused by passing winds. Uh, this flutter only intensifies typical vibrations, heightening their amplitude, which makes building structures that are capable of resisting these forces even more difficult. Um, there are many factors that can cause resonance, such as traffic, high footfall and heavy machinery. And this was brought home in April 1831, when the Broughton Suspension Bridge collapsed when a group of soldiers marched across it in step. Um, now, in order to prevent resonance, um, mass dampers or harmonic absorbers are installed. These move in the opposite direction to the oscillations using springs, fluid or pendulums. And also, as a pre preventative measure, soldiers are ordered to break step before crossing the bridge. Um, now, I've got two case studies. The first being the Tacoma Narrows collapse on the 7th of November in 1940. Um, before the bridge was built, it was predicted that there would only be light traffic across it, so it was built very thin for its length. Um, shallow and narrow girders were used, which meant the bridge was insufficiently rigid and movement was even experienced during construction. Um, Tyline cables were attached to plate girders to dampen oscillations, but these snapped shortly after installation, so were never in use. And finally, hydraulic buffers were installed between the towers and floor system of the deck to damp longitudinal motion, but these were damaged when, damaged when the bridge was sandblasted before it was painted, so they were never any use either. And um, once the bridge was opened, it was obvious that there were some issues, and an evaluation of the bridge was ordered, and this was completed on the 2nd of November, just five days before the collapse. And even though these improvements were never made, there were some suggested, including drilling holes in the lateral girders and along the deck so air could circulate through them and have a more aerodynamic shape to transverse to the transverse section of the deck. Um, and finally, the second case study of the, is of the um, Millennium Bridge. This opened in June 2000 and experienced resonance as its um, natural frequency was actually very close to walking pace. However, unlike Tacoma Narrows, um, the stabilisers were installed and that successfully damped the oscillations, making the bridge safe. Uh, so in the 60 years between the Tacoma Narrows disaster and the Millennium Bridge, the same issues are still fundamental to design. However, safety measures have improved and technology has improved in order to damp these effects um, a lot more significantly. So everything is a lot more successful.